Today I'm taking the humble chicken breast fillet and we're giving it a bit of a makeover using a few basic ingredients, some of which you probably already have in your kitchen right now. We're going to give it a bit of a jazz up and we're going to take the chicken dinner to the next level. Let's make this beautiful cheese and bacon Hasselback chicken on the One Pot Chef. First things first, let's sort out our chicken. Now I've got four chicken breasts, they're skinless and boneless, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the Hasselback effect on each one. Now, if you've seen Hasselback potatoes, basically it's a potato which has these very thin slices over the top of the potato, so when you put something like garlic butter on top and then put it into the oven, the garlic butter melts into it. In this case, we're doing it with chicken, and we're gonna be stuffing a lovely filling in between the gaps. So we start at one end and using a sharp knife we're going to cut part way through the chicken about three quarters of the way. Don't go all the way through it should be still attached and then just keep going doing the same shallow cuts all the way along about maybe half a centimeter or about a quarter of an inch between each gap and just keep going until you're all the way along the end. So you see they're all still attached and you've got a nice little gap between each there. That's where we're going to put our lovely cheesy bacony stuffing. So do that to each of our fillets and then transfer them onto a baking tray lined with some non-stick baking paper. So that's the chicken sorted out. We can set this aside for a few minutes while we work on our filling. Into a large fry pan over a medium heat, I'm going to add in our bacon. I'm putting in four slices of middle rasher bacon. Now this is some lovely hickory smoked bacon, so it's got lots of smoky goodness to it. And all I've done is just roughly chopped it up into small chunks. Now, obviously Australian bacon is different to American bacon. This is probably closer to Canadian bacon for my American friends, but you could use ham, you could use bacon, you can use whatever you like on this one. But honestly, this smells good already. You can already smell the smokiness off it. You don't need to put any oil in the pan because the bacon's got a fair amount of fat that's going to render down in a few minutes when it starts to start cooking. Now we don't need to cook the bacon all the way through. All we're looking to do is get a bit of colour on it just to get it slightly crisp. To add a bit of extra flavour I'm going to put in some garlic. I'm putting in a teaspoon of minced garlic, about one clove roughly, and two chopped up spring onions. And we're just going to give these a stir for about two to three minutes just until it gets a bit fragrant. And last but not least, a bit of cheesiness. We're going to put in 125 grams of cream cheese. I'm using the spreadable cream cheese today. And all we're going to do is allow this to melt into the mixture. Should only take a couple of minutes. Once the mixture has melted together, I want you to turn off the heat and just quickly transfer this mixture into a bowl or a dish and allow it to cool for a few minutes. Once the mixture has cooled slightly, we can start spooning it in between our slices. So all you need to do is take a teaspoonful roughly and we're just going to carefully place it in between each of these gaps. Try not to overfill them too much. And to finish off, just a little bit of grated cheese on top of each chicken piece. And our cheese and bacon Hasselback chicken is ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, about 360 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until the chicken is cooked all the way through. While our chicken is baking in the oven, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. 
Chicken's just come out of the oven. It's lovely and cooked all the way through. The cheese and the bacon mixture is melted and gorgeous. This is absolutely divine. We're going to leave this to stand on the counter for five minutes. This allows the chicken to rest and allows it to finish cooking in its own time. And then we'll be ready to serve. And here we have our completed cheesy bacon Hasselback chicken looking absolutely stunning. The chicken is moist and tender. The stuffing is cheesy, bacony and full of flavour. Trust me, you're going to love this. Cheesy and bacony and looking absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to dive in and have a taste. Knife and fork time. Okay. Ooh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. Oh my god, that's great. Mmm. <laughs> the chicken is super moist, really, really tender, and it has really absorbed the flavours of the cheese and the bacon. You've got that little bit of background garlic flavour to it. You've got the creaminess from the cream cheese. You've got a bit of that grated cheddar on top, which really sort of just adds a little bit of extra to it. This is sensational. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at OnePotChefShow.com. And until next time, see you later. This recipe is infinitely variable. You can change the cheeses, you can change the stuffing, you can change the herbs and spices added to it. You can really alter this to suit your personal taste in so many different ways. So come up with your own combinations. Let me know how you're going to be making this in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.